Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for honest reviews. Today we're diving into the Kathmandu Guest House, a place that's been making waves in the adventure tourism scene since 1968. Yeah, that's older than some of your parents. Now, let's start with a negative review. The staff were unfriendly, and the room smelled like something died in there. Wow, harsh. But, hey, let's balance that out. A positive review comes in saying, great location in Tamil, close to shops and restaurants. That's something, at least. Speaking of location, it scores a solid 7 out of 10. Tamil is known for its lively atmosphere, think of it as the Las Vegas strip of Kathmandu, minus the Elvis impersonators. Now on to the room quality. Guests reported mixed feelings. The mattress was as firm as a rock. But another traveler claimed, my room was clean and cozy. So, we'll give it a 6 out of 10. Not exactly the Ritz, but at least it won't give you a backache. Unless you're a side sleeper. What about the amenities? The hotel offers Wi-Fi, because, let's face it, how else will you post that breathtaking view of the Himalayas? It gets a 7 out of 10 for that. Food? The on-site restaurant serves local delights like Dalbot and Momos. One reviewer exclaimed, I could eat these dumplings forever. So, food scores an 8 out of 10. Yes, please. Now, let's address cleanliness. One guest noted, I found a sock under my bed. But another felt it was well cleaned. We'll call it a 5 out of 10. Now for the staff friendliness. It's a mixed bag, some are stars while others look like they just lost a game of Monopoly. Final score. 5 out of 10. Adding it all up, we landed a whopping 48 out of 100. So, is Kathmandu Guest House worth your stay? The answer is a resounding no. Better luck next time, folks. <laughs>